Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Guys YouTube channel and hunting lap times. Today we're here at Long Beach and we're going to be testing out a few different cars real quick. So obviously we got LMP1 and the GTD class. Well actually yeah, it's actually going to be a GTP but uh, we got LMP1 filling in for uh, GTP here in Project Cars 2 as we don't have the other cars. So you know how that works. But anyways. We're getting our car warmed up here. We're going to see what kind of lap time we can do here. This is a GT4 Mustang, the closest thing we can get to the GTD uh, Dark Horse. So we're going to see what kind of lap times we can put down with this. So uh, let's uh, take a look here as I get through this first turn. I'm going to scroll on my phone here and see what the lap time was for the uh, GTD class as soon as I get into a nice straight, and then we'll do that actually. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to wreck my car. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. Just kind of roll here for a second. So take a look at uh, GTD class. The fastest time here was a 1 minute and 17.81. So 1 minute 17 seconds 81 was uh, the fastest lap time. So I'm not sure what I've run here with the GT4 Mustang before, but we're going to find out ultimately. And then once we're done with that, we're going to go up to uh, the next level of car, which of course would be uh, GTE for GTD Pro, and see what kind of lap time we can get with that. So just kind of trying to get uh, two different cars that are kind of similar. Kind of interesting that they don't have NMP2 here, or NMP3 as it were. Uh, rather interesting that they're not running that class, but obviously it's a, short, a uh, small circuit, so kind of hard to be able to get all of those classes on there. So it kind of makes sense. Alright, so we're just in practice here, so we're going to find out what kind of lap times we can do here. Car's feeling a little bit on the funky side as we're still trying to get it up to uh, the correct temp and everything. Not sure what my, uh, where I have this set, whether it's set in the spring or summer, what the temperature is and everything, so that could be affecting a few things there as well. So we'll have to uh, look at that potentially and see what, uh, what settings we have for the next round, which of course will be a GTE car and see as we hit the wall uh, what we do. Got a little bit of suspension damage from bumping the wall there but not too bad. So we'll see what time we end up running here. Hitting the wall a lot. Tires are just not quite warmed up yet. Just make things a little bit difficult. Nice and easy into the turn. Try to keep throttle. So obviously we're going to get a little bit better as this is my first time on the track today, so first time out, see what we can do here on the lap time, not sure we're going to cross the line at. Alright, so 14 seconds behind uh, P1, and that's an ending P1, he ran a minute and 15 second time, so I don't think we're going to uh, get to the time that we're looking for and that of course was uh, 118 or 117 as it were. My phone turned off so I can't see the time right now but I'm also kind of racing so I'm not really looking for it. But I have to say that this car is fun to drive and I do really do enjoy it now that the uh, car is finally warmed up a little bit. It kind of helps out with the uh, turning. I don't think we quite have the time that we need with this car to be able to get to a GTD time. But that's okay. We use this as a warm-up car and we can go from there. We're getting a little bit of our time back and we haven't uh, lost pace with the uh, the other car that's on here. So that's actually pretty neat. So we're kind of keeping him in view. So as we were to get better, we should be able to run him down ultimately. going to make sure I get my shift points get the car wooed down enough to make the turn. Alrighty, so not a great time, but we're going to get ourselves a little bit of time back. That shift there. Oh yeah, going to get a little bit of time back. So I could obviously hit it again and try to get a better time. It actually looks like we might be able to do that. But I don't think we're going to get close to that GTD time, which is fine. Yeah, we're gonna totally go off over here, so 
Anyways, we'll go grab a GTE car and see what we can do with the GTD time here. Because GTD was running a 1 minute 17 second. We're definitely not doing that. We're 13 seconds behind that MP1 that's doing that. So, obviously times have changed and the, the GTP cars from last year were running a, uh, a 109.9 is what they ran. So, that's what we're looking for. So, let me go grab a GTE car that will sub in for GTD. And we'll see what we can uh, do lap time wise with that. Alrighty, we got the golf colors out with the Aston Martin. And I actually didn't realize it, but just looking at it, it actually was the Heart of Racing team that had the pole here last year for uh, GTD. So that's actually pretty impressive. So we got the right car. So this car has quite a bit of acceleration. Another reason why I chose it just to see if that would give me a little bit of help getting around here. because. Around these short cor corners and stuff, you kind of want to have a car that has good off the uh, exit uh, exit acceleration is what I'm kind of looking for on these sharp corners. So we'll see how we do here. So obviously looking for a 117.81. And we'll see what kind of lap time we can put down with the Aston Martin here. Obviously getting our tires warmed up. Trying not to get damage on the front end again, but... Got to get this car warmed up here so that we can get uh, the peak handling that we need from it. So right now, tires are pretty cold, so we need to warm these up here on our outlap and uh, try and get ourselves ready to go for some lap timing. We're actually warming up pretty good, so that's nice. So this car already feeling a lot quicker than the GT3 car that we ran to start with. So we we'll have to see what kind of lap time we end up doing. Car's a little bit on the twitchy side. Has a very quick uh, steering response, which is nice. Go ahead and hit the brake a little bit too soon, but we can work on that for the next lap. But uh, one of those things, don't know what the brakes are like on this car and we're still getting those warmed up so we're gonna feel that has really good handling though like that so far I'm gonna hit the wall again as I overcompensated for how good the handling was I thought it was gonna be a little bit stiffer so I turned more than I needed to so a little bit of damage on the car to work with but uh, we should be able to do that pretty easily I think we get a GT4 uh, Porsche out here, so probably be able to get around him. Let's we'll see. But this car very, very quick. NMP1 already put a 113 down, so they're looking at uh, running for that pole time of uh, NMP um, of GTP. Pretty close to that time, so good to see. Gonna hit the turn a little bit too slow through there, but that's okay. Getting the gear. Let's see what time we'll get here. So we are eight seconds off of the pole time, and that is 1.13. So let's see if we can bring that down any. I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to. And no, we're not when the car decides to glitch out on, the, on me like that. Wow. Yep, lots of issues there as we have hit the wall and car decided to totally leave me. Okay, we're going to have to restart here as we're having all kinds of issues currently. Alrighty guys, we're going to be trying this again. Had a major glitch or something that decided to pop up during my second uh, qualifying lap. So we're going to see if we can get this, uh, this lap any better. I'm not sure what that was. I've had it happen a few times. Usually, though, it's only when I have a bunch of cars on track. So it was kind of weird why it did that. I'm not sure what was going on there, but it did. Currently, we're having a very quick lap here. Well, quicker than uh, last. Oh, yeah, we're having some real seconds to our time like that. So we'll see if we can get any closer to that GTD time. And then we will try to do a GTP poll time here as well. So looking for a 117.81. I don't think we're going to get it just because of a few factors. Car 
because the cars have come a long way since uh, this particular GTE spec car, so we'll have to find out what we can do, but we got a really good lap time going on here. Nice into the corner, lost a little bit of time there on the brake. So gaining a bit of time through here. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Turn, 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 turn. In a second. Only seven seconds off of uh, the pole, and that pole time is a 112. So if I'm doing the math on that correctly, that puts us at about a 120? A 1 minute 20 second, somewhere in that range. So that would put us... That would put us about... Uh, not quite last, but we'd qualify anyway, so you know what? I'll take that. That'll work. Because <laughs> the, 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 the worst time that qualified was a 127.89. We are 7 seconds, 9.01. So add that to a 1 minute 12 second, 30, uh, 3.79. Which just got a little bit quicker. Yeah, I mean, we're not that bad, so... Not the best time, we could definitely do better, but before uh, I run out of time on the recording here, we gotta head on off to the next uh, class, but uh, yeah, that's not too bad. So, competitive anyways, I can run laps and get laps, so that's good to know. So anyways, let's uh, try out that LMP1 car for GTP and see what kind of lap times we can do with that there. Alrighty, so heading out with our LMP or our GTP equivalent car here. And we're going to find out what we can do. Got to get this car warmed up first things first. So uh, the only thing we changed was uh, going to the hard slicks. Because for whatever reason I was going to put all terrain tires on this thing. So don't need that. What we need is the uh, slick tires. So I'm not sure why we were going with all terrains. But apparently that's what the game wanted me to uh, have. So we're not doing that. Not doing that. We're doing hard slicks. I could have gone soft slicks but... Uh, the hard slicks actually seem to run a little bit better with that Aston Martin on this particular course, so we'll see what these do uh, this time. And man, this thing is fast! I love it. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, just in case uh, I didn't mention it, uh, what I'm trying to do here is basically out of the gate, no setup changes. Like, I have not done anything custom setup on this, no tire pressure changes. The only thing we switched was the... Uh, what tire compound we're running, and that's because we were going to run all terrains with grooves for whatever reason as I hit the wall there. And uh, that is uh, not what we need to be running on this course. So the basic thing is just to see how close I can get to the pole time, or just to see where I kind of run, and just have uh, fun with it honestly is what we're trying to do here. So let's hit the brakes there. This thing has some good brakes. I like Oh, good night. Did two wheel there. This thing is out of control because I don't know how to drive it. And I will admit that this thing is fast. I know these cars are fun. And I think I've heard a lot of people say that they'd rather race these than uh, the traffic cars or GTD. Honestly, I, I love racing the GTD style cars or GT3s, GT4s. I don't know. I just I like the fendered, those fendered cars that are styled more like the actual production cars. I don't know why, I just, I like driving those more than uh, these prototype type vehicles. So the main thing is uh, on this is that we do have that hybrid power system that we can use on acceleration, which is pretty interesting. But you gotta be able to hit the brakes and store up that energy to be able to use it, so. So I guess we, what we can do is kinda use some brake if I had a lighter brake pressure, we could do that and potentially see what we do. So there we go. Ran a 111.475 on the outlap. Definitely not my uh, best work. I think there's uh, some improvement to be made as for whatever reason though, I'm already seconds behind my time. So you can see that issue already. So just kind of figuring out what we can uh, do here. Ooh, good night. Lost a ton of grip there. just uh, get out of here 
and we will try to come back for another lap. So nice and easy through here. We'll store up some of that energy from the uh, hybrid system. So what's interesting is uh, there's probably some settings in the sim that I can mess with and uh, I'm not sure what those would be but there is a way to deactivate the hybrid system so it only works when you toggle it but the current problem is that uh, I don't know what those buttons are and I haven't looked at that need to though because I think that would actually be kind of helpful on these, some of these videos so I have to try that out and see what I can find out but basically if I floor it right here you're going to see that power gauge go way down because I'm using all of it on this straight array to get some time. And I'm going to use it all before I get to the end here. So I need to be able to figure out how to kind of toggle that so I'm not using it through a certain section of the track. Good night, those brakes are good. Because like right now I'm actually using it through this section, which I don't think I actually would be. I mean, maybe the guys would actually be using that system, but uh, I would prefer not to be just because it gives me a little bit too much power. I think I lost a lot of time through there because uh, it wasn't engaging, but it was engaging all at the same time. It's kind of weird how this thing drives. So, part of that is I haven't driven this car very much. So, driver driver error is mostly what's at uh, stake here. This thing is so fast, though. I mean, it is very, very, very fast. See those brakes warming up there. So we got the regen system from the brakes, and you see the tires wearing out there too. So if I had gone with soft, I probably wouldn't have any tires right about now. Alright, so we're hitting full blast here. I think we've kind of run out of the zone where we can actually make up time. At this point, just with the tires and stuff, because those front tires, they are worn out pretty majorly. So I don't think we're going to make up much time through here. I'm going to give it a try though, just because I need more practice in these cars. Good night, this thing's insane. Love the fact that it still has a V8 in it. That brakes coming on in this thing has some great brakes by the way great braking yeah we're not gonna make any better lap times I don't think unfortunately which that's okay actually no we might now we got some time Woo, but the tires are worn out oh yep tires are worn out well we tried to do that but not gonna work This thing's a beast, though. It is a fast car. But uh, that's not too bad. So 111.475. Uh, I'm going to just let that be the time. I could probably go through, change the setup, get the car to handle better. Also go through, change settings and stuff. But uh, got things to do. So don't have time to keep messing with this all day long. But definitely work that I can put in to make this car better but taking a look at what the time was so I'm right in the range there got ooh, got the guy coming out at the pits let me move out of that guy's way but anyways we got uh, the the worst lap time was a 111.59 the second worst lap time was a 111.410 uh, and so I did a 111.47 so I mean once again I would qualify to be in the pack I'd definitely be in the back though but uh, honestly that's fine that's just that's cool to see that I can run a time in the class anyways that would be slightly competitive that's the main thing that I'm kind of looking at and obviously it's not really how fast you run through the race it's how consistently you run fast in the race is what's really really important but uh, that that's pretty cool so anyways that just doing this for fun trying to see hey can I be competitive or can I not be competitive in the sim and obviously it is a sim, totally different in real world. If I was in real world, I'd be probably doing a two minute lap time around this place and the car would also be destroyed. That's that's the funny thing about it. So 
Anyways, guys, just having some fun, seeing what kind of lap times we can do. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you haven't checked out the merch store, check that out down below. And uh, make sure you let us know what you think of these videos. And we'll see you guys here next time on the Combustion Guys YouTube channel. Whether it's going to be in real life or in the sim, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.